knows that because I'm not going to ask a million five hundred and fifty thousand Idahoans to go stand up and get in line in order to exercise their constitutional right not to buy a product. Uh, the, the Idaho health care system we've been working on for the last few years anyway and establishing medical homes, some of the other things we've done like enlarging the nursing schools so that we've got more providers for medical needs in the state. All of those things, we were working our way into a good health care system, doing it Idaho's way, and that is home growing it. Uh, this imposition by the federal government uh, on the state of Idaho is against the 10th Amendment, it's against the state's rights amendment, and I think it's a broad expansion of the uh, of the Commerce Amendment, Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution. And I think now Congress realizes what it did was wrong. And I believe there's enough states, there's 20 states now that have joined my lawsuit uh, against the federal government, against Obamacare. And uh, for those people who think that they can automatically go to the federal government and get a waiver, uh, that it'll work, uh, or that they can build a program in Idaho that will be accepted by Obamacare. It's been my experience in the past that you've got to have a system that's as bad as or worse than the federal government's answer. And so that's why I'm continuing to fight. It's an individual rights, it's a state's rights.